expecting the best. Most people don't. You will. I'm asking you to go into this day and to see that it is pregnant with possibilities. And when you realize that, when you realize that the best will be with God, then your whole day changes. I was eating breakfast the other morning at Waffle House. It's easy to overhear conversations in a Waffle House. And there was not one person in there that was expecting the best. It was a woe type of talk at every table where the, the day was going to be bad, the night was going to be worse, next week was going to be worse than this week. Thoughts held in mind tend to produce after their kind. I ask you to hold in mind the best possible, and if you are a faithful person, you will do just that. Psalms 118 Verse 24, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. What are you expecting? Seriously, what are you expecting from this day ahead? Are you anticipating wonderful things that God will do? Or are you like the people in Waffle House? Are you living under a cloud of apprehension and doubt. Well, look at those words in Psalms again. Remind yourself that each day, this day, should be a day of celebration. After all, God blesses us continually every day of our lives. God gives us love and God gives us assurance. God gives us comfort when we're hurting. And most important, God promises the priceless gift of a life that is fully alive now and later on. Not just going through lives like zombies, but being awake, being alive, being aware of the good as we consider these blessings in our lives, our hearts will rejoice and we will truly be glad. Daily life brings challenges. Of course it does. But when we arm ourselves with the promises of God's word, we can expect the best. We will live our lives in the best way not only for the day ahead, but for all of eternity.